The 3D Relief Distortion Tool in Route will allow you to take a 3D relief and use a few handles to, to create a wave or a different type of effect in the, in the selected relief. So uh, let's take a look at this. We'll start off by creating a copy of this one. So I might want to use the other one again. And I'm going to convert that to curves. And now we can come here and uh, do a 3D relief on here. We increase my resolution just a little bit. And let's do a beveled constant height relief of uh, say 0.4 inches and hit apply. Now we can uh, hit close here and shade this and see that we have a uh, some text on screen with the relief in there. Now to distort this I can come up here to the transform menu uh, and choose a distort and here you have a patch distort option and this will give me some handles that I can select and if I hold my shift key down, I can even keep from moving too much in the left or right. And using these handles, I can I can make some changes to this uh, uh, text. So if I hit enter here, now the, uh, the changes will take place. And this is very similar to the way the 2D distortion works because uh, the 3D reliefs are based on 2D shapes. It works in a very similar manner. Now let's hit control Z here. We could do another one uh, if we wanted to hit the shift key and just draw draw the letters upwards here and hit enter. Uh, we'll see that it'll it'll distort the top of this, and this can be used to really create quite a different number of uh, text or different fonts and text and and uh, uh, different shapes to overall letters and words. So uh, if we right click this now to get out of this tool, let's take this one more time, and and this time we'll draw a little boundary around the box, and we'll uh, select both of these and align them convert our text to curves and this time we'll first start off by creating a flat no thickness relief oh, we want to hit flat here and I'm actually going to change this down to a zero thickness and replace now I'm going to select my text or uh, first I'll create a little profile with the uh, angle tool here or the arc tool and this is just a little 90 degree sweep section that I'm, I'm then reducing in height by clicking on the handles and dragging them. I'll select my relief and the original 2D geometries here and go to the chamfer tool. And I'm going to hit chamfer. It tells me to select the chamfer and contour. And we'll just hit the check mark here. So we'll see that we were able to take this uh, font and, and then add it to our relief here. So now what I want to do is just use this same distortion and we can also get to it over here and we can see that we can, uh, even if it's in some other shape or an outline, uh, distort the relief in just the same manner. So uh, here we'll do a little change here and you can also uh, change the relief in terms of the, the actual surface itself. So when we hit OK here, we'll see it changes all this and you know you can pull these in all different directions to really create a lot of different effects. And we see that it's, uh, it's made the changes here. So this is a, an easy way to take a relief and do a nice distortion to it using a few handles, part of the new in Route 5.